Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to do your last minute Christmas shopping from home, no shipping, no going out to stores, just get it done right here, right now. Let's get into it. My first idea for you to do online is to buy someone a subscription. So these subscriptions can look a lot of different ways. They can be like media, so like magazines. There are magazines on every topic known to man. So it's not just cooking and decorating. There are um, magazines on hunting and antique tractors and whatever you put your mind to. If you look it up, there's a magazine on it. Um, so that's a great way to go. And also, if you've ever like actually had a magazine subscription, they're so much cheaper than buying them in the store. Usually you can get a pretty good deal on them. So that is a fun gift and often it's something you wouldn't buy yourself. Another idea is Audible. I'm actually getting someone this for Christmas. You can get three months of Audible, I think for $39 and that gives them access to everything for three months and then it also gives them, or like their library and then it gives them three book credits. Um, so that's a fun gift and a gift that will hopefully better them and not just add more stuff to their life. Also give them other subscriptions like Spotify or Netflix or any streaming service, a good one that's coming out in the new year. I think it's January 4th. I might give someone an IOU and tell them that I'm gonna get this because it's so good. It's called Discovery Plus and it has HGTV, Food Network, and then it's gonna have like the Magnolia Network and I think it starts at $4.99 a month. So I'm planning on gifting that to somebody. Also with subscriptions is consumables. They can be really practical. There are subscriptions for razors. Other practical subscriptions would be things like ButcherBox. Um, there's tons of smaller um, businesses too to look into um, where they are selling their meat, whether that's beef or something else. And I think meat is always a great gift. It's um, obviously expensive. And so when you can gift that to someone, it's awesome. Even like a meal box, those have been super popular. So gifting that. Um, and then even impractical subscriptions like FabFitFun, things like that, that again, people probably wouldn't buy for themselves, um, but is a fun gift to give. The second idea I have is reservations. Now, I know this is a little sketchy with COVID, but just get it so you can do free cancellation, whatever you choose, whether that's booking um, someone a couple rooms in a hotel, maybe just you know a couple, couple hours away, um, whether that's a flight, maybe it's an Airbnb, whatever it might be, um, and then just printing off the reservations and giving them. I think like with all of these ideas, you can just email them to people if you're not gonna see them, but if you're gonna see them, it's fun just to print something off um, to give them, whether that's like the activation code or whatever. Um, you don't have to do that, but it kind of gives you actually something to give them. And then I actually got these boxes at Hobby Lobby. So like my Audible subscription, I'll print off the page. Um, they like have this thing that prints off with the code and everything. And I'll just put it in here so it feels a little bit more ready to go. You could also just throw it in a card. And so I was editing it. this video, I had another thought for reservations. Gift somebody lift tickets to a ski resort near them. It's so expensive when you go to pay for yourself, so it's a great gift. The third idea is a little more um, friendly to staying at home, and that is the idea of e-courses. There are so many e-courses. If you want to learn something, there is a course to teach you, and there's a lot of fun ones. If you're looking for something for a spouse or a significant other, there's this one um, called Show Her Off. Facebook keeps advertising it to me. I, I don't need it, but you might need it. It's a course on um, like learning different dance moves at home and so it'd be fun to gift your spouse and do that with them at home. Another fun e-course, and I don't, maybe not everyone wouldn't be into this, but I follow a gal named, um, or she goes by the handle Minimalist Mom on YouTube and she's offering a course um, with two other YouTubers um, all on decluttering and minimalism and I think that's a great gift idea. Uh, most people need more stuff like they need a hole in their head so offering them something that would actually benefit them and make their life more enjoyable is obviously a positive thing. The fourth thing is gift cards. Now before you click away, I know we've all heard of gift cards, but we can obviously buy gift cards online and just get the activation codes to gift so we don't have to wait for the card to come in the mail. This is last minute, people. The other thing is, don't just give them one card. Create an experience or maybe you're gonna create a day to go with them. So maybe they have a few favorite stores in a certain area and a favorite restaurant and maybe you give them gift cards to all of these places and their favorite coffee shop in that same area 
Um, and so, and then maybe you come with the package too. You're going to enjoy the day with them, whatever it might be. Um, I think this is a great way to give gift cards and obviously they can be given a lot of different ways, um, but just to kind of create an experience out of it. And another good one would be Airbnb um, or some place like that. So maybe you don't feel confident in actually reserving dates, but you can give them that gift anyway. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And I'd love to hear in the comments any other last minute at home ideas you have. I love this concept to think like it's the night before or an hour before you need to exchange gifts and you can just go online and just, you know, start going through that. And these gifts are still super meaningful. In fact, maybe more meaningful. And I hope you give this a try and I will see you later. Bye.